This is a typical uh, if question you could get uh, after introducing the if statement. It's similar to one of the PRAC questions, but not, not exactly the same. So it says the employees who work for a company earn a bonus at the end of the year based on the following criteria. Their monthly salary must be less than 10,000 and they must have accumulated at least 50 Achiever points over the year. The bonus they earn is 200 Rand per Achiever point. You must write a program that reads in an employee's monthly salary and Achiever points earned and then displays one of the following messages. If you look at the two messages, the first one is when you earn a bonus, the second is if no bonus is received. And you will see that the structure is different. So the first that needs to happen in the prac is the easy obvious, easy, obvious parts. It's where you read in the monthly salary first. Notice because it's an amount, money, we use the double and you say double salary is assigned to double dot pars. And then the next step is asking the user for the achiever points and then reading them in as integers. Notice there's int dot pars. This paragraph in the question is probably the, the most important and, and obviously the most tricky. This is where you need to do problem solving in coding. So the question says the employees who work for a company earn a bonus at the end of the year based on the following criteria. Their monthly salary must be less than 10,000. They must have accumulated 50 achiever points over the year. So the kind of questions that you could ask here, obviously it differs from program to program, but the following are obvious questions. What is the condition? Now if you look at the question, the condition is salary must be less than 10,000 and points must be greater than or equal to 50. Then if there's an if statement, you would say what happens when the condition is false? In this case, no bonus needs to be added to the salary. When the condition is true, the bonus needs to be calculated. And then you need to say Okay, I need to give output. I need to a right line at the end. Can I do this after the if statement or must it be inside the if statement? As we noted in the previous slide, the structure of the output messages differ uh, from earning a bonus to not earning a bonus. Therefore, we would need two separate right line statements in the true and the false part of the if statement. Okay, so let's take each of those questions and then we implement it as part of the code. The first question was, what is the condition? And that obviously becomes an if statement that says, if the salary is less than 10,000 and the points are greater than or equal to 50. So we have a complex condition with two simple conditions on both sides of the and. And then very important to notice that you have brackets right at the start and right at the end. So the whole complex condition must be within brackets. The next question said, what happens when the condition is false? So in this case, no bonus is added to the salary. So there's no bonus calculation that happens in the else part or the false part of the if statement. Okay, so the next question is, what happens when the condition is true? And then obviously the bonus needs to be calculated. And how do we calculate it? It's points times 200. Remember, the employee earns 200 Rand per uh, achiever point. The last question has to do with the output that is given uh, in the program. And we, we've commented about that earlier, that the two structures of the outputs differ. When there is a bonus, the Typically, output would be your salary is so much and you receive a bonus of so much. Notice the placeholders and the formulating, formatting to two decimal places. And then when there's no bonus, you simply say your salary is so much and you do not receive a bonus. So we cannot put one right line statement after the if statement because the structure of the two right line statements differ.